So, first, start right side up and fold diagonally in half. A origami doesn't take a long time and is very easy to make. But I call it low as medium intermediate. That means just intermediate. No high or low. Now unfold and fold this edge to the crease. Fold this edge to the crease. I'm literally obsessed with these type of folds. Also, this origami is from Hungry Shark. It's a video game. Unfold and fold this edge to this edge, repeating the same steps on instead of this side and this side. Fold the same thing on the other side. And now simply unfold. Now what we're going to do is pull these two edges to the middle. Both edges to the middle at the same time. And see this part? You want to just pinch on that all the way to this point. Now fold it to a side. Now do the same thing here. So fold both sides to the middle on the existing creases and pinch, 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 pinch all the way to this point. It's basically a rabbit ear. Just to make it easier, I'm saying pinch and fold it to this side. And let's fold them both down. Now, what we're going to do is fold on this edge to actually uh, there's no fold here, so uh, we need to uh, oh yeah here. So you want to fold this edge to see these two creases and fold to the intersection of them. Unfold, fold this edge to the point unfold and fold both edges together to the middle and just pinch all the way to the top point now what we're going to do is fold it this way crease fold it this way and crease Fold it up like this, see the pocket here, open it up, and flatten it, just squash it, make sure both sides are seen. Now fold this up, performing a pedal fold. What you have to do for the pedal fold is fold this edge to the middle, fold this edge to the middle and now what we need to do is fold this edge up like that and now what we're going to do is do an open sink uh, it's not too hard but because of uh, you can skip this step I like to, uh, instead of doing an open sink, what I like to do is fold this edge to the middle one more time, this edge to the middle. Sinking definitely is better, but this uh, gives a nice shape to it, so yeah. And now what you have to do is you need to, uh, you're done. Yeah. Just like that, you're all complete with the tail. Now let's focus on the head. So let's fold these two edges down. What we need to do now is fold this edge 
as you can see, uh, when we folded these up, it creates a crease on here and here. You want to fold this edge onto that crease. And now you want to unfold, fold this edge to the crease. Now you want to unfold just a bit and then see this flap on to pull it out and simply squash or flat. Now fold this edge over so the fold goes from this point and from this point it goes in a straight line to here. So that's the fold we're doing. Now you want to flatten this edge. Oops, we need to fix some folds. So that, and then what we need to do is unfold a bit here, and we need to take this edge, fold it out, and just flatten. Now, as you can see, I'll just fix some folds here. We have our this. Let's fold this this way, fold this this way. So it's just a big flap, bigger flap. Now what we're going to do is squash that flap. Squash this flap we just made. Now what we're going to do is fold these the two flaps and this edge up and I'm sorry I folded too many flaps just have to fold these two flaps up here and now what you want to do is fold this down so that from this point to a diagonal line to here Same thing on the other side. This point to a diagonal line to here. And now what we're going to do is create the mouth. Now to create the mouth, we're going to turn the sheet of paper over and to crease a bit here and then unfold this edge and now as you can see if I just took my finger here it's actually the mouth <clears throat> and these two flaps holding them down gives a color change effect um, here so it actually looks like a manta ray or sorry a uh, stingray <laughs> I'm obsessed with saying manta ray no. Okay, yeah, let's turn the sheet of paper over, and what I'm going to do is fold this edge so that this point lines on. See these two creases? You want to fold on the intersection of those two. Now what we need to do is crease sharply and fold unfold and fold this edge to the crease we just made unfold fold this edge to the crease we just made unfold fold both edges to the middle creating a rabbit ear and pinch all the way to the, this point and fold this this way this this way and kind of Try to open it up. It's a tricky step because this flap is very little. You can use bigger paper, but there's no need to. Oops. Please open up and squash that. Just pull this. Out. 
So that's been squashed. Now what we need to do is see this edge. You want to fold this down on the edge so that it hides the white part. And see this tip? You want to fold it down. And then just open and just fold it into its uh, pocket now. If you turn the sheet of paper over, you should have a uh, working uh, cool mandatory that can uh, eat your finger if you really want it to. But what you can, you should do now, you want to fold this point out so that it comes from this point to here. And very sharply turn and fold this point so that it comes from this to here to this point. So yeah, like that. It's just to lock some of the layers here. And now we're going to unfold and fold this edge to the crease. This edge to the crease we just made. And now we have a cool manta ray. Sorry, a, uh, not a manta ray, it's a stingray. Okay, it's a stingray, not a manta ray. People are going to be so mad at me, so why I said manta ray. Now oh, we're going to fold these edges up. Actually, we don't need to. Let's fold this slap. Uh, no, we do need to. Let's fold these edges up and then fold this flap up and this flap up. Now what we're going to do is the, we're going to fold this edge all the way as much far as it can go. This edge the same as far as it can go. Not all the way like this, just kind of like this. It's just estimating where to fold. And fold this edge to here. This edge. And fold this edge to this edge. Now you can make a manta ray with this if you really want to. But now fold these edges down. This edge down. And fold these down. Like so. Now, what we're going to do is fold this edge up on this edge. This edge up on this edge. Unfold. Unfold. And open this slot pocket. And tuck it in to its own pocket it came from. The pocket it came from and do the same thing on this side and now we should have a manta ray let's just puff the mouth up a bit and we have a manta ray you can shape the tail to be round and then what you can do now is you can just kind of shape it so that it looks like that yeah and yeah, that's the Origami Manta Ray. Hope you liked the video. And subscribe if you like this one. And have fun and have a good day. Goodbye!